Well hello, welcome to Blender Stuffs. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this soccer ball in Blender, the project file for it will be in the description section, so let's start already. So here we are in a new Blender scene, first let's go to preferences, add on, and enable a add on called add mesh, extra objects. You can enable the add curve one too, that's pretty useful, but we are only gonna use the add mesh one. Now save the preferences and close this window. Now back to the 3D viewport press shift A mesh, and after enabling the add-on you'll see a bunch of new options of mesh presets, but what we'll use now is math functions, regular solid. Now under this control panel or whatever, we are gonna use it a preset which is close to the shape of a soccer ball which is truncated icosahedron. Now you can see the topology is a bit messy, so let's switch to edge selection mode and go to mesh, clean up, and limited dissolve. Now let's use a subdivision modifier so that it's a bit spherical. And let's just apply it. Now we can create the stitch seams, so let's get into it. Let's select the edges where we want the seams to be. But it will be a bit tedious process to select all the edges. So let's go to select and then select similar or you can use the shortcut shift G. Like that and select face angles and it will select all the edges based on our selection and angles between the edges of the faces. Now press Ctrl B to bevel this edges. And let's just decrease the width to something like 0.003 maybe. Well that's looking fine. Now for the seams we can select the center edges and scale them in. To do that we'll use the selection tool again. But make sure to select a hexagon because all the pentagons are surrounded by the hexagons, and selecting them will eventually make the pentagons selected. Now let's scale them in pressing S and pressing Shift to have more control over scaling. To make the scenes more tighter we can give them a crease pressing shift E and dragging the mouse till it's 1. Or simply shift E and press 1. Now as you can see the mesh is not completely round and nor was my stroke. To fix this I am gonna use cast modifier. Basically a cast modifier by default will project or simulate a sphere from its origin and will stretch the mesh outward hence making it spherical. We'll have to set the factor value to 1 to have full influence of a sphere. Now let's apply this to our ball. But now if you increase the influence by 1, you can see that the details of the seam are gone. We only want the outward faces to be affected by the modifier. So let's select all the outward faces. Switch to face selection mode and select a hexagon, the press shift G and select perimeter, and do the same for pentagons. Now all the face are selected. Go to Object Data Props and create a vertex group assigning the selection.
Now select the created vertex group for the cast modifier. Well, let's set the sub D level to 2. Now let's do some texturing. Let's create two materials, one white and the other black. We need to assign the black one to the pentagons. So select the pentagons and assign the black mat. Set the base color to black. But we also need to assign the side faces as well. To do so go to select, select more slash less, and click on more. By default its shortcut is numpad plus, but I've set it to button 5 of my mouse. Then assign the selection again. Now let's make the ball a bit older. Let's add an image texture and open the dirt image. I'll put the link for it in the description for free. Connect it to roughness channel and set the color space to non-color data. Also let's add a color ramp to have some control over the texture. But the texture is not working as expected. That's because we have no UVs for the ball. We can UV unwrap it but there is an easier way. But first make sure to unable node Wrangler add-on. Then selecting the image texture press Ctrl T, a mapping and texture coordinate node will be added. You can see that the texture coordinate is set to UV, so set it to object instead. Then you can see that the texture is working just fine now. Control shift right click on the color ramp to see what it's doing. It's a bit stretched. To fix this select box projection instead of flat. Control shift right click on the BSDF to get back. Let's just increase the roughness a bit. Click the color ramp and press Ctrl Shift D and connect it to the base color.
Let's give it a bit mossy color. You can see that there are some visible seams here. To remove them just increase the blend value of the image. Let's copy the node to the black material as well. Set the white value to black. Or let's delete it. And so that's our soccer ball. Thanks for watching. See ya. To do so go to select, select more slash less, and click on more.